I finally finished the uh, plans for my new version of the Panther Rotor. That's uh, this machine here, which is closely based on my original Panther Rotor that I built in 2010. Main changes since that one is this template holder. If you move the template up and down, you always have to loosen it fully, and then you have to still make sure it's horizontal, which is kind of annoying. And the depth stops are a little bit hard to get at down here. Both of those changes don't change how you use it, but it makes it more difficult to set up. So on this one, I have a template holder that the templates get attached to that can slide up and down like this, and it stays nice and level. So once you have the template on there straight, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And I move the depth stops over to this side, like this. And when setting that up, it makes it very easy to just put a ruler on there to see what depth it's set to. I originally invented this machine for cutting tenons with a router and have both ends already rounded so that it fit nicely in a slot cut by a router that also has both ends rounded because the cutter is round. And that is cut with a template like this. The template is twice as big as the tenon. But right now what I've got on here is actually a double tenon template and that will cut two tenons side by side which then plugs into two mortises side by side which of course I can also cut with a panther rotor and make sure they're spaced precisely so that these things will always fit. But of course it can cut a lot more than uh, mortise and tenon joints. For instance this will make integral dowels on an end of a piece of a stock. This is a quadruple mortise and tenon. This is for half blind dovetails. These two are for through dovetails. This one's for box joints. This one's a really big tenon template. So anything really that you can cut with a router, this will cut. Now if you buy the plans, you get sent a download link like this. And actually I was using the plans on my tablet as I was building it. And that takes you to the download page, but you can also browse the plans online so that you don't have to worry about how to unpack the zip file on your tablet. And then for instance here we can go in and look at the drawings. And here's all the drawings, and we can click on any one of these to get uh, details on that. There's also the building instructions with lots of details and photos on how to build it. And there is one-to-one -one drawings. These are large printable drawings that print across many pages. Also smaller parts, for instance the, uh, shape, the shape for the uh, router mount, which is kind of complicated. Although I did build it without the templates this time, just by using the geometry on the drawings to recreate that on the plywood. But not to cause too much confusion, you can also download the uh, zip files onto your PC and then browse them on your PC or print various parts. So there's, for instance, PDFs in here. For instance, for these parts, this one stretches across multiple pages and there's an alignment grid for aligning the pages once you print those out. Now if you bought the Panther Rotor plans before today, you can download the latest version for free using the link that was sent at the time of purchase. And of course, you did keep a copy of that email and the link, just like you're instructed to in that email, right? And also included in the plans is the 3D SketchUp CAD model. So if you download the uh, free Google SketchUp, you can browse all the drawings in 3D.